guys, welcome to my art channel. Thanks for stopping by to make some art with me. Um, for more free art lessons, you could press the button below and subscribe right there on that red button. And I will see you really soon. Now let's get to making some art. Bye bye. Hi everyone and welcome. Today we are going to be making an arty insect. And this insect is special because we're going to be doing some string art inside and we're going to be using a lot of different types of materials. So you're going to need some pieces of plastic and these can come off a protector sleeve or it can come from uh, some type of plastic containers. A piece of oak tag a piece of wire, some different colors of either embroidery thread or yarn, oil pastels, your crepas, scissor, glue, Elmer's glue this time, and permanent markers. Because when we draw on the wings, the only marker that will stay without smudging off are going to be the permanent markers. So we are ready to start. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create the body of the insect. This particular insect has an oval shaped body and I'm going to show you how to do the oval shaped body but you can make the insect any shape you like. So let me just grab my black marker so I can show you and I'm just going to draw my shape like so and I'm going to cut it out of my oak tag. And if you don't have any oak tag around, you could always use like a cereal box or sometimes a cookie box or a tissue box. That's, that's a perfect weight for this. I'm gonna put, go put this extra aside because I'll probably use it later. The next thing I'm going to do is, on the, for the string art part of my insect, I'm gonna need these little slits. I don't know if you could see that on the edges. And I'm just going to put slits all around the edges, little slips. Actually, I'm going to draw it so you can see it. I've made a bunch of tick marks around the body of the insect, and that's where I'm going to make little cuts, because that's how we're going to use our put our string in to make our string art. So I'm going to just cut on those lines. I'm not going to cut all the way through the insect's body, just on these little, those little marks. Okay, so now that I have that finished, I'm going to color in the insect's body with my crepas. I'm going to make it nice and bright. You can use crepas, markers, paints, anything you want to color in his body. And you can color it in any design that you want. I'm going to color mine in a circular pattern. I'm not going to do too much designing on his body because we are going to be doing some string art on top of it and I don't want the design I put here to take away from that. So I'm going to just do some simple circles and color them in with some bold colors. I'm just trying to cover all the cardboard. I'm just going to add one more color in the middle. Okay, so I have finished coloring in my bug's body. 
and I'm ready to start doing some string art. So on this guy, I used three different colors and maybe I'll do the same. I have a couple of different colors. I have a little piece of yarn, but mostly embroidery thread and you can use either. So the way to start is to take a piece of your yarn or your thread. And it's good if you can find the beginning. There it is, find the beginning. And you're just gonna hook it from the back through one of those tabs. And it's gonna come out the back like that. And you could even put a piece of tape down on that tab so it doesn't, that extra string so it doesn't go any place. And let me just cut a piece. It's going to get tangled. I made this kind of long. Usually I try and cut my string about the size of my arm. This one's a little bit longer, but it'll be fine. So you're going to go from one of those little slits that you made just across and you're going to pull it tight and you're going to go around from the back and go into another one like that and you can go in any direction see i just made like a little star and i can continue to go around and around until I feel like I've had enough with the color and I think that's enough for the yellow. So I'm going to pull that, I'm going to trim what's left and I'm going to just put a little piece of tape there for now to keep it safe. And I'm going to start with my second color. So I'm going to do it the size of my arm because that one was a little long and I don't want to waste any thread. And I'm going to start it the same way. I'm going to find one of these little slits, any one is fine, and from the back to the front, I'm going to slip it through this that little slit. So I have this left over, I'll put a teeny piece of tape on, you don't have to put the tape on, it's probably fine, I'm just doing it to be extra cautious. And then I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm not going to go in the same direction as I did with my yellow string, or my yellow thread because I want it to, I don't want it to go over my yellow thread. I want it to be a little bit different. So instead of going on this one, I'm going to start here. I'll do this one. And then maybe I'll come around this one here and I'll go to this one. So see how I'm going in just different directions? So now I'm making a second layer of design. And I'm going to tape my excess to the back. And I'm going to take my third color. And again, I'm just going to start in any slit in the back, secure it with a little tape. And then I'm just going to start going through all the slits, going back and forth. like so. So you can continue on and do more strings or you can just leave it like that. I'm going to leave it like this for times for the sake of time, but you can continue on. And I'm going to tape him down for now. See, he has a little bit more thread going on. He also has more slits. Um, I did less on this one than I less of these little slits here than I did on this one. But that's okay. All right. Just 
put some tape on one last one and so now I can put this aside for a minute and I'm going to take out my plastic so we can do the wings. So just like the shape, you can do the wings in any shape you want here. Again, I used ovals, but I think with these, I'm going to actually do longer shapes, um, longer wings because I have longer pieces of paper. And I'm just gonna think for one minute, yeah, I think I'm gonna do a nice long wing and I'm gonna draw it out with my permanent marker because if I use a regular water-based marker, it's just gonna smear right off. So I'm gonna make a really long oval like so. And I think that should look interesting. That's a nice long wing. And I'm just going to let that marker dry for a second and I'm going to put it right underneath my other plastic so I can trace that design so both wings will look pretty much the same. So I have my two wings. You can probably see it better if I do this. And I'm going to trim them with my scissor. the fun part I get to decorate the wings and here I use different types of patterns I use circles over here and zigzag lines with stripes over there I just went really crazy because it's an arty insect I'm gonna get my permanent markers out and just do some designs in the wings so I'm starting with a pattern and I'm gonna show you what it is I'm using wavy lines and I'm using horizontal lines to go across my wings. I'll show it to you on the board, like so. And now I'm going to go back and add some more into that pattern with different colors. So really when working with patterns, what patterns are is they're designs or lines or shapes that repeat themselves. So what I do with one wavy line, I'm going to do with uh, the other wavy lines, for instance. So here, on, on top of each wavy line, I added little dots. And I'm going to continue on with some more, adding more color and more lines. So now you can see a little more how I'm adding more patterns and they just keep repeating. The designs just keep repeating themselves throughout the entire wing. What I love about using the plastic for the wings is that they're translucent. The light shines through it just like many of the insects that you see. Like a fly has those translucent but very colorful wings. So I finished my first wing and, he's, and the wing is nice and colorful and I have a choice um, to make the second wing it's pretty much exactly the same because on most insects both their wings are exactly the same on either side. Their bodies are symmetrical, their wings are exact on either side. However, since this is an arty bug, we want to get really creative. So on this insect, he has two different wings, and I think I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to give this guy um, another wing that's totally different from this one. However, I'm going to use the same colors that I use, so it still matches. It still works together. So 
So I'm just going to pick up all the colors that I used in here and I'm going to use them on the second wing. And I love to use bright colors. They're so much fun. Now the permanent markers may seem to smear a little bit right now, but they will dry and then they won't smear anymore. It's just that they're still, they're still wet. So you can put some color down and then wait, or you can just Go with the flow, and if it smears, you just keep it as part of your art. Okay, I finished my two wings and now I'm going to put that aside and I'm going to work on his eyes. I just want that those markers to dry up a little bit and now on this um, insect, on this already insect I have very round eyes. You can do very round eyes or you can do um, different shape eyes like almond shape eyes or however you want to do it. So I'm going to do some small circles. Just like that. I'm going to cut them out of my oak tag. We're ready to start gluing things. So the first thing we're going to glue down are the eyes. So once you have them cut out, just decide where on the body you want to glue them and glue them down with your Elmer's glue. That one doesn't want to work. Let's see if this one works. There we go. Now when you use Elmer's glue, you don't need to put on a huge blob because it'll just spread all over the place and make a mess. And the good thing about Elmer's is that it dries clear. So I have my eyes on. And I'm just going to give that a minute to dry before I move on to my next thing that to before I move on to gluing the wings on. So I want to make the antenna for my bug. So to do that, I take a piece of wire. This is the twisties wire. And I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm going to make a spiral twist on either side. So to make the spiral twist, you're going to just take the tip of the wire and turn it in, make a little tiny loop, and then you're just going to continually twist it in, but make sure that the wire does not go on top of itself. Make sure it's 
and as you turn, it's right next to the last row that you turned. And I'm just going to keep going all the way down and make a nice big antenna there. And I'm making sure not to go over, but to go next to. Okay. And I could twist it out the other way. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to just push that end piece in to make a little loop there. And I'm just going to spin that wire around the loop. So it's like a little snail. I'm just going to keep going all the way down, making sure that my wire is next to the previous wire and not on top of it. And there we go. Okay. So now that I have my antennas and I have my wings, I just want to make sure this is not too wet my eyes because I don't want them to fall off. I'm going to carefully flip this guy over. And the first thing I'm going to do is between his eyes on the back, I'm going to glue the antenna. So I'm going to take that Elmer's glue. I think I took the wrong one. There we go. And I'm going to push it right down on there. Now I'm going to take some scotch tape, and you can take scotch or masking tape if you have it, and glue uh, tape right over that antenna and the glue. That's going to keep it in place because it's going to keep popping up otherwise. Okay, so there I have my antenna. I would also avoid picking it up. I'm just going to pick it up to show you, but you don't want to keep picking your piece up until it's dry. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our wings on. And you want to decide how you want your wings. These wings are straight out. You might want your wings up a little bit or down a little bit. How far out do you want them? I'm just going to... I think I'm going to put them facing upward just a little bit, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put some Elmer's glue, and I'm going to pop that wing on, and then I'm going to add for safekeeping. If you don't move your piece, you'll be fine, but I'm going to be picking it up to show you. And here is the finished Artie insect. And he's really interesting. And it'd be really nice if I could hang him maybe in front of a window where the light shines through his wings. I hope you enjoyed making the Artie insect and I will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.